faith and evidence. Mm -hmm. now, could you just shed some light on this? Rahim. In fact, the relationship between faith and evidence is the real parameter yeah. and real indicator of the faith. Mm -hmm. Because faith without real evidence is a myth. Mm -hmm. And the human beings have witnessed along the human history till today and even till tomorrow mm -hmm. many faces with shaky evidences but with power with money with numbers mm -hmm. thinking that their power money and numbers will suffice them mm -hmm. and they will not need to emphasize on evidence but the truth remains that real faith must rely on real evidences mm -hmm. and without real evidences the faith has no value we in Islam believe that the faith comes from clear and authentic and concrete evidences mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and for that Allah the glorious says in Quran Qul hatu burhanakum. always tell those who differ with you come up with your evidences come up with your proof it is not only the claim. The claim alone does not make any reality in the faith. Today, every followers of every faith mm -hmm. claim that they are following the truth. Yeah. But where is the reality? Mm -hmm. Because the truth is truth. Mm -hmm. Truth is one after all. Of course. If you compare between Muslims and non-Muslims, between Christians and Jews, Buddhists, Hindus, and so on, all those who have got any sort of faith. In fact, there is no human being without faith. Of course. Even those who claim that they are atheists. Well, my next question was going to be. No, but let <laughs> me continue now my point. Yeah. That every human being has got a faith. Mm what he believes in, mm. whether he wants to admit or he wants to hide, mm. that is a different matter. Okay. But everyone has got something in his heart okay. or in mind that he thinks right. It might be right, might mm. be wrong. Mm. Mm. But the point is here, Wha what are and where is the evidence? Mm. If you can produce proper evidence, mm -hmm then your faith is based on evidence. Absolutely. Now, among Muslims, you find some Muslims saying that this Islamic sect is wrong, mm. that Islamic sect is wrong. Mm. Only I am right. Mm. Okay? Mm. Especially those who are very extreme. Mm. The extreme people who condemn others and who don't look to anyone else but only to the, themselves as if the paradise is only for them, hmm. not for others. If you ask them, what is your evidence? You will find them shaking. Hmm. And for that you find many of their so-called sheikhs tell them not to talk, not to indulge in a dialogue with any Shia Muslim. Okay. Yes. I have seen in the books which are being taught in some so-called Muslim countries when they speak about the Islamic sects 
and they mention Shia sect, they say that we must stop our young people from talking to the Shia because Shia has got ability to drag them mm. towards okay. themselves. Okay. we have a call before we start. So what we say that real faith must have real evidences. Sure. Without real evidences, the faith will remain shaky. Shaky. Okay. We have a call, yes, and after please. that I'll pose a question. Okay. I'd like to ask the Sayyid uh, regarding the dialogue. Uh, obviously, people uh, may not wish to have dialogue with Shias, yet our Prophet had a dialogue even with Muslim Qazab. And in, in, in that instance, Sayyid, in that dialogue, I read the exchange that um, uh, the Muslim Qazab said, yes, I will believe in your prophethood if after your death you are agreed to nominate me as a caliph. Mm. And the Prophet Wasallam said that, no, it is not in my authority to do that. Uh, I would like Sayyid's comments on the veracity of that. Okay. Or, or the truthfulness or otherwise. And the Prophet never went to any fortune teller. On the contrary, it is wrong to go to those who claim that they tell the fortune, the future. Completely wrong. The first question, which was regarding Musaylama. Musaylama al kadhab the liar Musaylama, claimed prophethood and he tried to imitate to just do something like Quran but of course he could not do anything and it was very clear lie in front of everyone but he had few people from his own followers who had no brains. Mm -hmm. The Prophet, peace be upon him and his holy progeny, gave very clear evidences. And Musaylama wanted some post. And Islam is not a religion which buys people support mm -hmm. by giving them any authority when they are wrong. Islam never legitimized the wrong. In fact, Muawiyah also wanted from Imam Ali to leave him ruling Sham, Syria. And then he would not fight against Imam Ali, but Imam Ali said, never, I will never give you authority to rule over any place at all, even for a second, because truth cannot shake hand with the falsehood. The successor of the Prophet is not a matter of politics, it is a matter from Allah. Because the successor of the Prophet is responsible to look after the religion not only the chair. Right. And the people are mixing between chair and religion. Mm -hmm. With due respect to those who came out of Saqifa, they wanted to hold the chair. But the Khalifa of the Prophet is not only the man who holds the chair, the man who can look after everything in the religion, then he must know everything of the religion. And it is not a matter of election, as no prophet was elected, and no prophet successor was elected. All the previous prophets' successors, all of them were being appointed by Allah, and the prophet himself said. Same with the last and greatest and final prophet, his successor <coughs> was Ali ibn Abi Talib, as the Prophet said, as Allah ordered him. And this incident of Musaylama 
which is mentioned in the books, also gives evidence that even the Prophet himself did not say anything from his heart. Otherwise, it might be useful for a politician mm. to keep his enemy quiet mm. by promising him some post. But he did not, mm. because it is a matter of religion, and it comes from Allah. And Allah ordered the Prophet to inform the Ummah that the successor after the Prophet is Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. Um, coming back to our uh, topic, yes. mm, now my first question would be, what should be our, our response mm. to those who claim to mm. be atheists? Okay. Should, we, should we have a dialogue with them okay. or should we boycott them? First of all, it must be clear that those who claim to be atheists means they have no faith according to what they claim to be. In fact, they are trying to hide something. They have something in heart. Mm -hmm. They have something in mind. Mm. But they are unhappy with the religious system in their society. And usually you find them in non-Muslim societies. where people are fed up with the church. Mm -hmm. And this claim of being atheist is witnessed mostly in the Western countries. They want to show their refusal to the wrongdoings of some clergy of the church. Mm -hmm. And they don't want to <coughs> say that mm -hmm. they believe in, mm -hmm. in God. Mm. But in their heart of heart, many of them, they definitely believe. They have something in heart. Definitely, yeah. They definitely, and you can see that when they fall in any hardship. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. Huh the head of the Communist Party mm. in one of the countries, mm. who was always claiming that there is no God, and he claimed that he was atheist. An earthquake took place, mm. and the building collapsed. collapsed. Mm. He was found in a corner, praying to God mm. to save him. People saw him. Mm. Later on, when they found him praying to God there we are. to save him. There we are. Yes, that is a human nature mm. because every human being has got in his heart yes. the truth of one God. <clears throat> Those who claim to be atheists, we should try to analyze why they have this stand. Yeah. And we must talk to them Try politely. To them. Yeah, politely. Them. Hmm. But, uh, you know, and we also <coughs> must focus on the common thing between us and, and them. them. Huh. Hmm. What is the common thing between us and them? Hmm. The intellect. intellect. But and some we of talk them, to them are yes, with the intellect yeah. and with the basics hmm. of the reason, hmm. step by step, hmm. as our infallible Imams used to debate mm. with the non-believers mm. and used to defeat them mm. and prove to them that the reality is Allah, His prophets, mm. and Ahlul Bayt alayhi oh. salam. And some of the, the atheists... <laughs> 